Okay, I'm going to the website for medical care at justinmind.com to look at health plans. Okay, I'm on the landing page right now. All right, the first impression. Uh, the layout. The layout looks good. The coloring. Um, I would recommend that the font being used is either bigger or there is a uh, way to make the font bigger that's offered. Uh, it's kind of small. Uh, I like that the fight the flu is in red. It uh, gives it a sense of importance compared to the rest of the site. And the logo, the uh, pictures used uh, give a good overall impression of what the site is about. And the links over here, easy, they're at the very top. Uh, so if someone comes on here and just wants to get right to what they're doing, they can right there. Uh, overall, pretty good outside of the uh, <clears throat> the font issue. Uh, things looks like it's pretty easy to navigate, pretty easy to understand. Not too much stuff on the front page. You got your latest news and the welcome and and just basic information which is a really good way to go for a site uh, that's offering a service like this. Okay, now I'm going to go look at the health plans. And apply for a health plan. Oops. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put in some dummy information. Okay, it didn't, so I have to use the calendar. All right, uh, for the date of birth, only being able to put it in by calendar, you'll need a drop-down menu that lets them change the year. Because uh, this is uh, going to take a little bit more time than most people are going to want to put in for this. So I put that in, then I can go change the year. No, I can't go change the year. Excuse me, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you need to change that date of birth uh, uh, way to put it in. They should either be able to put it in manually or have where right in here it has a little thing that lets you put in, you know, a drop down box lets you select the year so it takes you right to where. Because it didn't even let me. Usually I when I come across a calendar like this, I'll put in the current year's date of my birth and then I'll go and change the year, but it didn't let me do that, so... Okay, come on. All right. Let's. There we go. Okay, that was odd. I put in two threes. I put in February third. Uh, and it took me to March 2nd. All right, there seems to be something with the calendar there that you need to look at. It's functionality. All right, nationality. All 
Alright, nationality. Okay. If it's gonna say nationality, it should have a nationality. This isn't these aren't nationalities, these are countries. <clears throat> That's a little confusing. Alright, and we'll go in here and put in both the country country. Put in my email information. Okay, continue. Okay, and then choose your plan for a range of health screenings. Worldwide Medical for Hospital, Worldwide Medical Plus for Special and Medicine. So I would, let me see, I would probably select worldwide evacuation I'm not sure why it's called that worldwide medical worldwide medicines and equipment and continue okay annual total heart or circulatory disorders no breathing no, no, continue. Her type. Valid from, okay, most credit cards don't have a valid from date. Okay, that's probably for that Delta card. So do expiration 3, 2014. Okay, for some reason this window's not shutting. Let me see. There we go. It should automatically shut little bit of functionality issues here security number one two three and confirm payment okay and after you confirm payment it should actually probably take you to some sort of a confirmation page or way to print out some information Um, overall looks good. Needs some tweak. Uh, needs some, uh, you know, with the font and stuff, so people can read it easier. Uh, user friendliness, menu navigating. Uh, need to tweak some of those uh, information areas that I went over as I was doing uh, the evaluation. And I'm not really sure what that is, so.